me I was waiting for me at the hotel. So when I got there, I was all excited. Uh -uh. Next thing I know, this guy took a blue pill. Blue <laughs> pill? Yes, now. Nah. I, I still wanted to handle me very well now. Just <laughs> as that's the gist I wanted to give you. Come on, while we were jumping up that and down, hanging from that. this. Please don't spoil Andrea for her boyfriend. Abi, I'm going to teach her something that she can use on the boyfriend. <laughs> My dear, Wale pulled his hamstring go. So, hmm, girls, so we're jumping up hurry up, we're running late, okay? But why, why are you guys be switching up stars like that? Nobody will can we go? Ah, My dear. Yes. See, your boyfriend and that missionary people are doing is old, outdated. Okay, well, let's go, please. Before we miss our flight. Yeah, we are not running late today. Relax. Madam Efficient. Oh. Eh? Madam Efficient. Alright, let's go, let's go. Alright, close the door. Please, thank you. assume a woman is single, you know, once they see the woman. Did you see that guy that was staring at me in the aircraft? No, I didn't. Please. I didn't even act like I was interested. Because I am not interested. Because you're in a relationship. Yes. Yeah, you sing it all the time, we know. <laughs> uh oh <laughs> Sorry, <Andrea>. I'm <laughs> Sorry, my fault, my fault. Haha. <laughs> Here you go. Is there no fruit juice? Mm. Auntie, we just came back from travels. We haven't been shopping. It's either water or alcohol. Pick a struggle. Okay. Andrea always oh. wants her juice all the time. So as I was saying, you know I see forever with my boyfriend, right? <laughs> Andra. Um, Andra, excuse me, please, excuse me. Can you just calm down? Hmm? Can you relax? Can you calm down with this boyfriend matter? Rich people, rich men are looking at you and you are talking. She <laughs> is in a relationship. If I hear. <laughs> so yeah. Guys, I'm not interested. That that we know. Yeah. Because yeah. you are... In a relationship. Then again, I don't know why men automatically assume one is single. Because, did you see that guy that was looking at me in the aircraft? No, no, I didn't. Oh, Nobody okay. was looking at you, Andra. Uh, no, uh, no, this time around, she's right. Though. They were looking at her. This, this, <clears throat> they were really looking at One guy was like, he wants to take her to Dubai now. Mm. Uh -huh. I told him that I'm not interested. I'm not. You why? Know, I love my man. I love because my man. Yes, you're in a relationship. You <laughs> love to <laughs> sing it. Honey. You're always being efficient, Miss Prim and proper, Miss everything has to be in the right place. But that's why we love you though. That's why they love you because you're really good at what you do. Yeah, you're the best of the best. Yeah. Meanwhile, 
everybody was just oogling you. Was oh, a, and right. I was like, I was feeling so proud. I was like, that's my girl. <laughs> yeah, look at her. Look at her very well. I was just doing my job, Jess. You know me. <laughs> oh, by the way, seat number three, mm -hmm. he gave me his card. Yes, he was like, you know, whenever you're flying in transit, he can take me out to dinner at Four Seasons and we can talk business. Business! Don't look at me like that. <laughs> no, because I trust you. I mean, you. I mean, you hop on the next available flight or whatever to go see him. See, just you. doesn't miss any opportunity of living the good life. Right? Just <laughs> do. I'm still trying to understand why Alex would cheat on me. Why? I gave Alex my all. I gave him everything. Like, I've never cheated. I've never even thought of cheating on him at all. You guys know, like, guys chase me, right? I don't even talk to them. I've never, ever been interested. Yeah, that's, that's so, so, why would Alex do this to me? Why? I'm sorry, I know you're feeling really bad right now. And I don't mean to play the devil's advocate, but are you sure he actually cheated? Like, do you have evidence? Did you catch him red-handed or did you see anything? Yes. She said he was cheating. Yeah, but I'm just, I'm just trying to confirm now. You know, sometimes Andra can over-dramatize some things. That's what are you even saying? Am I a child? Don't I know when a man is cheating? Don't I know? Stop now. I'm telling you this guy cheated on me and that, that's unfair. Now he's beginning to act like my dad. You know, my, my dad was a cheating husband to my mom. <laughs> he's just... Oh, maybe we're just cursed in my house. Just, and yeah, we are because my mom had bad luck with my father and now it's Andrew, almost like I'm having the same bad Andrew, luck with Alex. No, no. Andrea, please don't say that. You're not cursed, okay? You aren't. If he cheated on you, then he's an idiot, obviously. Yes, move on. Babe, look at you now. Have you seen yourself? You're a beautiful woman. Like, there are men lining up. Lining up. I'm pro I promise you, you will find somebody. Just, what, just... What are, you, what are you guys even saying? What are you saying? I should let it go, just like that. Is it easy to find a boyfriend? Is it easy? Yeah, you've not found one. You do you have anybody? What are you, what are you guys? What kind of advice is this? Now, where do you guys want me to start from? It's unfair. Okay. I know you're hurting right now, but that's not an excuse to... Anyway, whatever. You'll be fine. <laughs> Sorry, where will I start from? Where will I start from? Like, uh, I should start going on dates and talking stage yeah, and that's, everything. That's what every normal person would do. He cheated, so let him go. What normal person? Like, like move on. You mean I, I should move on? That's what you're supposed to do when someone cheats on you. You let the person go. So how was your day? And I had a very stressful day. Really? So I went shopping and um, got some bags. But there's this car that I saw that I wanted to buy, but the price. Are you going to buy it for me? You know my birthday is coming. I know, sweetie. Mm -hmm. It's not that expensive now. It's not for you. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Um. Okay. <laughs> Hey. Oh, hi. 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 What's a pretty girl like you doing in a place like this all by yourself? Hanging out all by myself, I guess. Really? Oh, so yes. you're by yourself? Yes, I am. All right. Not anymore. Can I get your number? Sure, why not? Right. Cute name. Thank you. All right. So I'll see you later. All right. Bye. Thank you, bye. Hey, baby. What was that about? That? Nah, that's nothing. So what were you talking about? Don't tell me that's nothing. What was that? Really? I was just meeting up with an old friend. That's it. Yes, Dad. Now I know what will solve both of us our problems. Okay. A wife. You need to get married, son. 
marriage, I'm sorry, Dad. Um, I'm not ready for that. And even if I'm ready for marriage, I already have a girlfriend picked out for that. Girlfriend? Hmm? I am talking about a wife, and you are here talking about a girl who smokes more than anyone else, even more than you. Pathetic. Dad. How come disrespectful. On. Dad, come on. It's all in the mind. You see a drunk girl, and I see someone who compliments me in every way. Oh, I see. Well, if that's the case, I can't keep supporting your lifestyle if I can get a grandchild out of it. A grandchild? Come on, Dad, let's not make a big deal out of this. You should be proud of me. You should be. I mean, other people's children turned out different. Some of them are... Uh, criminals, some of them are, you know, they take drugs, some of them are school dropouts, but you got a better bargain. Oh, so is this how you justify your shallow lifestyle? Hmm? Tell me, why? Spending money, my money, on cheap women with no morals, smoking and into drugs and things like that. Is that, is that it? Come on. Dad, you don't have any other child to spend your money on. And by the way, I work hard for my money. You know I do. How much do you earn? How much is your salary? And how much do you waste away in a day? Tell me. Why, Dad? You want to give me a raise? <sighs> Come on, Dad, relax. Relax. In life, you have to learn how to balance things, how to have fun, and how to just relax. And when you sound like this, I know exactly what you need. So, let me go fix you a cold glass of wine. Okay? I'll be right back. You're such a beautiful woman. Has anyone told you that before? Now and then. I like you. You know why? Because you go straight to the point. But for other women, they'll be so coy to want to know what I found interesting in them or what their best features are. You know, it's funny that you know so much about me and I know nothing about you. And whose fault is that? You know, for how long I've been wanting to have a date with you, I should be thanking God that this happened today. Are you married? How does it matter? So you're married? Yeah. I am happily married with two kids and a very adorable woke wife. In fact, she was I met her as a virgin. But how does that how does that concern us though? So if you are happily married as you claim, what are you doing here? It is complicated. I don't expect you to understand. You think I won't understand because I'm single? Try me. You said the first few years in marriage, I realized that the orthodox way of one man, one woman is actually um, is making my wife and I so miserable. If your marriage is miserable, you work on it or you get a divorce. I don't want a divorce. I love my wife so very much. I just realized that one person fulfilling your needs is unrealistic. There are many happy monogamous couples out there. Sure. But just have to be one or two 
perfect marriage. Everyone, you know, everyone is just settling for less. I don't want to settle and be, you know, resenting my wife. I'd rather get 10% of this anywhere, everywhere, you know, and then appreciate my wife for the 90% that she gives to me and more. What? God, this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Cheating is cheating. There is no justification. And I don't do cheating, okay? I am too precious, too special to be your 10%. Society is not making it easy at all. As a woman, I am expected to go out on a date with a man, get to know him, maybe like him, fall in love with him, marry him, start a family, right? Mm -hmm. How am I supposed to achieve that when this same society decides to throw married woes at me? What are my chances? Honey, you're not making any sense. What happened at your date? <laughs> Because, I mean, you're the only one that is understanding yourself. Even Jazz here looks as confused as I am. Do you, do you know how many times this guy that I went out with today, do you know how many times he almost blew my phone up before I decided to go out with him? I hear now. I remember the one that even suggested that you go out with him because of how consistent he was with calling you. I mean, any man who would be consistently calling like that has to be serious, no? Mm -hmm. So I decided to dress up, go out, and meet this person. At least get to know him. Eh? So what, what happened? He's married. Hey. What? Hey. Uh. hey. What? Yes. So why was he calling your phone? Ask me. Oh. Wait. Does that mean there's no faithful guy out there anymore? God, <laughs> this, this is scary. Atra, please. He wants me to be one of his 10%. What? I don't understand. <laughs> Long story short, he wants a reason to cheat. Men. Hmm. Does that mean every man is my father? Does that mean every man is Benson? God knows that I can never go through what my mom went through in her marriage. A marriage of a cheating husband and a lousy father. God. God. I would never settle for such. God forbid. Andrea, must still make everything about yourself. Gosh. There she goes again. She's <sighs> talking about my data and she goes on and on. Typical you. <laughs> Can you just chill? You know what? Now that I think about it, I'm not surprised that the guy is married. Why? Ah, because single men these days, their head is not calm. They won't be calling you consistently the way this one has been calling you. So it's only a married man that has time on his hands that will be doing all this one. And <laughs> just really. Hey, God. A savage. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Ooh. Dance for daddy. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's how we do. Oh. My sweet. Oh, nice. Sure you have it, friend. I'm having the best time of my life. Cheers. Cheers, baby. I'll see you when you get wet. Ooh. <laughs> Interesting, I know. Hey, baby girl, you want to come get a drink? I got you. We pour you a drink right here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ooh, just the way daddy likes it. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is for you. Mm -hmm. Yes, baby. Mm. I think it's time I joined this party, don't you guys think so? Huh? Yes. I'll be your awesome host, Mr. Royal himself, giving you royal treatment as the most prettiest girls I've ever seen in my whole life. Wow. How do you swim so Royal? perfectly? 
What is this? What is this? What's your problem? This is not a lifestyle I envisage for you. I think I overpampered you after your mother's death. And this is the result. Why? Look, I'm telling you, it's high time you settle down and get yourself a wife. Of these ones. Huh? Dad, come on. You just came back from a trip. Why don't you chill out? And by the way, I've selected different girlfriends and you've told me that they're not wife material. So what do you expect me to do? Okay, I have a suggestion. Why don't you find me a wife? Someone you deem perfect to be your future daughter-in-law and I'll marry her. Really? Yes. Look, Royal, this time I'm very serious, okay? Because if you don't get settled down and get married, I will cut you off. You understand? <sighs> now, I need a very quiet time in my house to clear all these things off. Clear, clear everything. Okay, Dad, okay. Big man has spoken. He says we should cut we should yeah. He says we should cut the party off. So girls, come to the table. Let's get some shots. Okay. <sighs> shots on me. Shots on me. Let's toast to a wonderful evening, ladies and gentlemen. Toast to you, toast to you. Mm. What does that even mean? Didn't you tell me you have a woman? And those kind of things are not practiced anymore. They're Bro. going to extinct. Bro, come on, man. It's practically my fault. I mean, you know, my dad gave me the time to find a girl and settle down. And I failed. What do you mean? What does that even mean? Ah, oh, come on, sweetie. Come on. I know you mean the world to me, right? Hmm? My dad does not think that you're a wife material. What is a wife material to you? You know, a wife material. I mean, none of all this belongs in the kitchen. Look, look, guys. What is the way forward now? What's your plan? What do you want to do? Well, oh, nothing actually. Just my dad's plan. He wants me to get married to the woman of his choice, mm -hmm. continue being rich, live my life like I want, and that's it. That's all? Yes, baby. After everything we've been through, this is how you repay me, really. Don't be I don't have time for this. Baby, that's come it. on. Ooh, look at that. I like you know you really need to see a therapist. You need help. For some reason, I mean, that girl. Bro, come on. So I think, uh, I know you do your salads. I'm thinking of doing some chicken tacos wrap. I don't know if I should, you know, forgive him, you know, being that it's his first time of cheating on me. I don't know, I don't want to be like my mom, who kept on forgiving my dad over and over again. What do you guys think? Do you think I should forgive Alex or, you know? Hey, madam, how exactly do you know it's his first time of cheating on you? Abby is his first time, Abby is the first time that you caught him. Anyway, look, you just said it yourself, you don't want to end up like your mom, right? So do what you never did and dump this guy, right? Andra, it's only a weak woman that will stay with a cheating man, okay? Oh. There's no excuse for cheating. Cheating is not a mistake. A mistake is when my boyfriend buys me the wrong pair of shoes from Dior. That's a mistake. <laughs> okay, you guys are saying I, should, I shouldn't forgive him, but I mean, nobody prays for a cheat as a husband. Cheating has become the norm in the society. It's many wear it as the latest fashion trend. So sometimes I begin to wonder, is cheating a necessity for your marriage to work? Hmm. 
Sister, you're actually wasting your time waxing philosophical over this stuff, okay? It's simple. Don't be smart. That's it. I don't know what else you're looking for. Babe, hey, hey, let me give you one gist. So there was this confused man. <laughs> Jazz and her now, stories. I'm all for it. They hear now. This guy was trying to explain to me that he needs to cheat on his wife so that he can respect and care for her more. My dear, my confused was confused. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. I'm confused as... I'm wait. You. Anyways, as for me, no man will ever, ever cheat on me. That's the no man is allowed to cheat on me. You hear? I mean, it's... How? I will not allow that. Never. Thank you. You see the way I handle my relationships? Oh. That is exactly how my marriage will be. Cheating is a no-no. How dare you cheat on me? Uh, my, see, I completely <laughs> concur. Besides, I need to even ask yourself, what exactly do you do with these, with these men? Because no matter how you give them their marching orders, you talk to them anyhow, <laughs> they come crawling back with flowers and gifts. And like, what, what, what is mm. the secret, baby? Is it the sex? Jazz. What? Everything oh. is not about sex, okay? Please, that's the essence of life. What do you mean? Okay, it's called the honey touch. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Look, I know you? I might not be a perfect girl, but girl, someday I will make some lucky dude a superb wife. Yes, I'm yes, lucky did some. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> guys, you know, guys, you, you guys are making this whole thing about you now. You're going off topic. So what do I do? Do I forgive him? Do I just move on? What do I do? Dump, Dump him. him. Can okay. we order? Can we, oh, please, where, please? Where is this waiter? Where? Where? Wait, 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 wait. You've not decided on what you want. Tacos or salads? Tacos, my darling. It's tacos. What, what, what are we doing? What are we doing? Is, is it, is it Andrew, what are you doing? having? That's your this thing. Come, on, let's order I, everything look, together. I need, I need so the I'm, glass, I'm gonna I need do the glasses of bubbly. Where, where is this winter? And Andrew, excuse me, ladies. Well, hello. Hi. Good Hi. day, sir. Good day. <laughs> ah, sorry for interrupting. You work with uh, Porsche Airlines, right? Yes, she does. <laughs> yes, sir, uh, we all do. Uh, I have flown with you quite a number of times, and uh, I know you. Okay. Always so courteous. <laughs> Resolving crisis effortlessly. Mm? Uh, I'm, I'm just doing my job, sir. <laughs> And I'm, I'm, I'm happy you're pleased. <laughs> uh, that's good. That's good. That's good. Well, I don't want to keep you. Uh, I, I saw you when I came in, so I decided to come over to say hi. Mm -hmm. uh, I always come here every Saturday to have a meal with my son. Oh. Apparently, he's running late, as usual. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'll leave you to it. Have a nice time. Oh, you, right. too. you too, sir. You too, sir. Mm. What was that about? I don't know. What do you mean? He probably likes you. Just come on. Excuse me, young lady. Uh, excuse me. You know what? Can I please have your number? I'm, I, I'm I don't sorry, know. I, 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 in fact, I had wanted to ask you earlier on because of your friends. I couldn't. I'm sorry, sir, but I. No, I no, don't. please, please, please. It's not what you're thinking. Not at all. You see, I'm asking for this number because I have a business proposal for you. Okay. Um, I've, I've, I've seen you handle the, the difficult situation far ever before it escalated. And uh, I like the way you handled the situation. And I believe that this business proposal I have, uh, you are just the right person to handle it for me. You understand? Um, are you married? No, no, sir. But, but I... No, you see, the fact remains that uh, um, what I'm offering right now uh, is about my son. And this proposal, if you don't like it, you can walk away. No problem. Hmm? Please, may I? 
place. There will be no more chances after this, Alex. No more. You make me feel so less for taking you back. Taking you back repeatedly when I know that you still cheat with the next skirts you fancy. Babe, 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 babe. I'm done this time around. I'm done. The fear of losing you has set my head straight. I don't lose you, Audra. I don't lose you. That's because you know I'm the best thing that's ever happened to you. You know that. You're the best thing that happened to me. And I'm the luckiest man alive. I don't lose you. Okay? I'm sorry I hurt you. I won't do that again. I don't want to lose you. So pretty. Thank you. Well, he's just a little lost. But with the right woman, he'll find his way again. So, what exactly do you want me to do for him? How do I help him find his way? Marry him. <sighs> Be all his bad habits, if you can, and bring him back home. Okay, I, I don't get it. Look, no woman in her right senses will get married to a man she has never met, to a man she doesn't know. That gets it even better, okay? I want you to see my son as a project. Marry him, stay with him for a period of five years, get me a grandchild, and I'll make you a worthy woman. Yes. I... I don't, look, I, I, I don't get this. You're making it sound like it's all about the money. What about love? What about commitment? What about happiness? What about what the marriage institution represents? Oh, my son is capable of giving you, of doing all these things that you just mentioned. Yes, he he's got it in him. It's like talent. And it's just like he needs a real woman to bring it all out of him. And my dear, I know you are that woman. Yes. I've seen you handle crisis. Seen you in a time of crisis. You patiently handled the situation. You have the patience of a nun. My dear, you are the one my son needs. Sir, I, 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 I can't do this. I, I can't marry him. I don't even know him. Why would I want to get married to somebody I don't know? Because, no, no, sir, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, can't, I can't do this. 200 million naira is what I'm offering you to marry my son. Marry my son, stay with him for five years. And after five years, with a grandchild, if you decide to stay with him, fine. But if you want to leave, you leave a happy, worthy woman. that if I stay married for a minimum of five years to his son, 
200 million naira will be all mine. You heard me right. Don't tell me you're actually considering this. It's absurd. Andra, do you know what this means? It means no more weekly dialysis for my mom. With that kind of money, I can get her her kidney transplant done in any, in fact, the best hospital anywhere in the world. I'll be able to take care of her after the transplant, her recuperation, drugs, everything. It's a good business arrangement, Andra. Hmm. All I need to put in is my time and patience, which I have. That's so cold. What happened to love? What happened to respect? What happened to emotional involvement and the freedom of choosing your life partner yourself? You know, I have a choice to walk away from this, right? But I chose to do this. So it's my choice. Does he have a choice like you? Did he choose you? Because from what you've just told us, his father is forcing you on him. Babe, just, just chill out, okay? She's a grown ass woman. She knows what she wants. Hmm. Well, I've made up my mind already. I'm just telling you girls because I know you won't let me rest and I don't tell you the outcome of the meeting I had with Mr. Matthew. So this is it. My mind is made up. I'm doing it. I'm just letting you in on it. Because you're my girls, you know? I hope you know what you're doing though. Because marriage is no joke. Andra, you are not in any position to give me marriage or relationship advice. You're still stuck on your cheating boyfriend and your, your relationship wing, okay? So don't tell me anything. I don't need your advice. Emotional damage. <laughs> She's joking. She's joking. It's a joke. Baby, listen. Just chill. It's, it's all good. Look, you've made your mind already. Okay, so whatever it is you decide, we are solidly behind you. Well, I know I'm solidly behind you. Are you solidly behind her? I was joking. You know that. You know I love you. I love you girls. And Alex loves you. She was joking now. I was oh, joking. <laughs> 200 million Baby, 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 leave her face. She's, she's, she'll be all right. Me, what is concerning me right now is, please, how many percentage am I going to see in this your 200 million? Because, you know, just cut me small 30%. You know? Yes, just give me small 30%. Mm. What are you doing, Jeroz? I'm riding a donkey. What's it look like I'm doing? <laughs> Jeroz. Are you okay with Tony ruining her life like this? Did you notice that I was doing something else when you walked in this room? Minding my business. Except I'm not drinking water. Just don't be like this now. Babe. You know, she's not using her brain right now. And I don't blame her because even the sound of that money can make a sense sing. <laughs> but then again, we're her friends. We need to always tell her the truth. Do you know your problem, Andy? You are too, you think too much. Yeah. Advanced calculus has nothing on your brain. Babe, relax. Is it no honey? I know honey very well. She's going to figure out a way to turn this marriage into exactly what she wants. Trust me. Look, the best we can do as her friends is just to support her. Okay? Um, I know, but you know, there are other factors that... Uh, ne, ne, ne. Rest. Hmm? Die this matter. All right, let's not, let's just... Let her do her thing, okay? Please? Charles. <sighs> Look, I get it. You, you love her and you're worried, but trust me, she knows what she's doing, okay? Mm. You're not hungry. Hmm. Hmm. This is really nice. <laughs> you know, when my dad told me that he found the perfect person for me to take to dinner, I braced myself on the worst. I was like, you, my dad, old. You know, the thing about... Hmm. Hmm. Look 
Because knowing my dad is an old man. What does he know about taste? But after all that happened, now that I see you and I take a good look at you, you're a fine piece of ass. Not bad. The old man surely has some good taste. I was warned that you had no manners. <laughs> well, it's fine. You're not bad looking yourself. <clears throat> oh, thank you. That's a compliment. And I really don't care if I have bad manners. Who cares? But one thing I must say is um, I like you. But I see you're very bold and you speak your mind. That's a, that's a bonus. So tell me, what do you want us to do? What do you think? What do we do? Food is really nice. You're missing out. Mm. To answer your question, mm, we should get married, right? Not like I'm going to change my mind or anything. But guess what's going to happen? One day, you're going to sit down and tell me a story of how you got engaged to a guy who isn't ready to settle down. That'll be an interesting story. Yeah, one day. Mm -hmm. Hmm. You know what they always say, right? Always come prepared. Sorry, am I supposed to propose to you or something? Or kneel down and... Or, is that what I'm supposed to do? Whatever, just put the ring on my finger. Whatever, do whatever you want to do. Just <laughs> get it. Okay. There you go. Not bad. It's a nice ring, right? So would you like something to drink, maybe? Champagne? Mm. Andre, thank you. This is really nice. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey girl. Hey. What's up? Gist, 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 gist. I am engaged. Woo! Sharp shooter. My kind of guy. <laughs> so fast. You guys just had one dinner. Andra. Babe, when are you getting married, please? This Saturday, we're having our cut wedding. Yes. Why the rush? I thought you were supposed to cut him to get to know him better. Andrew, why the wait? I already know what I want. The earlier I get married to him, the earlier I become 200 millionaire richer. So... Say that again, girl. That's it. That's it right there. Wait, oh, babe. Wait, Saturday. This Saturday? Yes. Which is the 21st? Yes, Jazz. Babe, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to be able to make this your... This your court wedding because... <clears throat> I had prior engagements, which th the appointment was booked for that day, and I cannot change it. Just there is no way 
you're missing my cut wedding. It's not possible. How? Biko, Biko, don't be angry, please. It's not like that. See, it's a very important appointment. Honestly, if 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 I could move it around, I would. Besides, come on now, this this one is not even a real real wedding. So we'll we'll, we'll think it doesn't, but we'll figure out. Okay, you know what? We'll throw a party and celebrate. <coughs> but congratulations, girl! I am two hundred million naira mistress. <laughs> Stand right in front of you. Please put it here. Yes, girl. Look at yes, the girl. rock. Look at the. Oh my god. Oh my god, my bride to be. I'm so happy for you. Hmm. <laughs> they look good together. Um. Today is a day that. Every father looks forward to with pride. And, uh, and my son, you have made me so proud for finally deciding to put the ring on Honey's finger. Something that I've wished for <laughs> all the time that uh, he needs to become a husband. <laughs> Something I've always wished for. Absolutely. Thank you. Very much, Royal, to make me feel this way today. God bless this marriage. Cheers. Cheers to you, Cheers. Dad. Cheers. <laughs> You're not a married man, you know? <laughs> <laughs> cheers, 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 bro. Cheers, bro. And that also means no more handy party. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who in the right mind would cheat on an angel as pretty as this? <laughs> I mean, she's my queen. Look at her. She is so beautiful. Every man's dream. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's, that's... Trish. I got the picture you sent. What was the meaning of that? I've been calling you since morning and you've not been picking your calls. Oh, come on now, look. I'm sorry. The phone wasn't with me when it, when it was ringing. All right, I'll make it up to you tomorrow, okay? I promise. Just want me to call Harry and he told me that today is your court wedding. All right, I'll make it up to you, okay? I promise. I'd rather be dead than be treated like this by you. <laughs> I'm going to kill myself. Trish, come on. Why would you do a thing like that? If you ever want to see me again, you better start coming here now. <laughs> and I'm just going to give you an hour. <laughs> If you don't get here on time, you're going to find my cops. Alright, I'm coming to you. Where are you? <laughs> Trisha said, where are you? <laughs> yeah, you know where to find me. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy, right? But what's she doing, dude? What are you doing outside? You just left your dad and your brand new wife in there. What? We're having fun. It's your wedding night, bro. Look, please, you're gonna have to help me handle this. I need to leave right now. What's the problem, <sighs> bro? It's Trish. And what about her, bro? Having one hour window to get to her, even though she's going to kill herself. Look, bro, I don't want to be responsible for anyone's death, and I might be anything, but I'm not a murderer. Give me a key. You don't have to go. They are guests in here. Bro, give me your keys, come on. Give me your keys. Look, you have to be careful. I'm oh, sorry. I'm, I'm doing this because we're friends. Be careful, all right? I'm sorry, everyone. 
uh, Royal had to take care of something very important and um, he'll soon be back. So we can celebrate and enjoy. It's the wedding night, all right? Let's, let's have fun, right? Uh, chess one more time. Uh, come on, smile, chess. Dad, you want to chess? Let's, let's just have fun. He's, he's coming back. All right. Oh. I'll put up some music for us. Where's the food? So we can go to the dining area. How could you do this to me? How could you do this to me? Why would you send me a text message like that? <laughs> Trish, you already know who you are to me. Trish, come on. You know what tonight is, and you know how important this wedding is for me. It's so beautiful, baby. <laughs> Look, this marriage is important to me. You don't have to be so dramatic all the time. <laughs> if you really need me, all you needed to do was call me. <laughs> I have also handled this. <laughs> Everywhere hurts, man. It's okay. It's okay, come here. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I mean, you know it's our wedding night. She probably wants me to come back home. See, I'm not going to take this tonight. You don't need to pick up. I don't think I can handle this tonight. Mm. He's still not picking up. I, I, I don't understand it. How can he just walk out? Like he walked off just like that. Nobody knows where he is. He's not picking my calls. He's not back till now. Mm, there must be an explanation to this. What kind of explanation, Andrew? Mm. God. What have I gotten myself into? Hmm. My... <laughs> Am I prepared for this? <laughs> this is looking like it's going to be the toughest and the longest ride of my life. <laughs> Honey, this will test you. Are you prepared? <laughs> what did I get myself into? Okay, we've got this, okay? You're honey, remember? <sighs> Who's that? It's Jess. I'm not in the mood to talk to her, not now. She's calling me. Let her pick up. You know her. She won't stop. She'll keep calling me. Oh. Hi, Jazz. Hi, um, yeah. Honey's fine. She, she's okay. She's just um a little bit tired. Yeah. Okay, um, Jess, can I call you back? Okay? I'll call you back later. Um, I have gist for you. Ah, okay. Speak to you later. Okay, bye. Andrew, you know you don't 
You don't have to wait up with me, okay? Come, I'll show you the guest room so you freshen up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. Wow. Look what we have here. Hmm. I've never seen anything so beautiful in a uniform. And what are you doing going to work on the morning of your wedding? No honeymoon? What wedding or honeymoon are you talking about? Where have you been? How can you walk off just like that? You won't speak or return my calls. I was sick, worried. I never knew you were so concerned about me. Mm. But it's okay. Why don't you be a doll and tell me exactly what it will cost to strip this uniform for me and make it so sexy. Ow. Excuse me? Oh, come on, baby. Get your hands off me. Don't get it twisted. I know that you're dressed for work, okay? But I mean later tonight. I want you to strip this off for me and make it really sexy. Every single piece of clothing item on your body and make it so special for me. And anything on the side would be a bonus. I can't wait. Get off me. You're such an ass. Oh, come on. I don't dare talk to me or touch me like that. I'm not one of your cheap girls. Let me go. But you're my wife. Are you serious? Yes! What the hell is he just talking to me? Is that to you? What are these people doing? Okay. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, Jazz. Oh my god, you're back. Hey. Oh, I'm so happy you're back. I am, darling. Ah, uh, boy, you, why are you coming in so early now? I thought you were with the bride. Honey just dropped me off now on her way to work. I'm sure she would have come in if she knew you were back. Uh, wait, I don't understand. Honey went to work today. What happened to the honeymoon? Mm. My thoughts exactly. You know what, girl? I, I have serious gist for you. But you know this gist? I cannot drop it until I've eaten and taken my bath. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Drop it now. Drop. No, 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 no. What's this? What's the gist, please? Give me gist. You can, you can do all that one later. What thing happen? Honey's husband wants to turn her to a stripper. I'm, I, you say? <laughs> Girl, you heard me right. He wants to turn out to a stripper. Come on, sit down here and give me this face. Come on, come on, give, sit down, sit down, sit down. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> As in how? Girl, I'm so like, I'm so, so pissed. That guy, I like, I don't understand. Do you know this guy? <laughs> he wants to pay her uh -huh. to dress up in her work uniform and strip for him. Who does that? <laughs> well, a freak does that. <laughs> Oh my God, honey has gone to go and marry freak. <laughs> Just what's what's even funny? Why are you why are you laughing? It's funny now. You calm down, relax. Uh -huh. Do you know, like I was, my ears turned red when I heard it. I could not even come out of my room till <laughs> honey called out to me. Like it's so the whole thing is so disgusting oh to hear. Ah uh -huh. honey has gone to find herself a freak. <laughs> So wait, why, why did she now go to work? Like, did she do, did she strip? Jazz. <laughs> I'm asking. Calm down. Calm down. I'm just. I'm just. Why are you? Hmm. I can see why Rui agreed to go on with this madness. He does have a taste. I'll give it to the fool. 
Okay, I'm lost. Who are you and what do you want? Oh, I didn't introduce myself. I'm Trish. Anyway, I'm the one whose happiness is so a Where's Where is What do you want? Who are you? <sighs> I'm not here for any troubles. I just came to get myself from the bedroom. Okay? By the way, I know my way. Royal, look, I know this whole marriage thing means nothing to you, but I will take no form of disrespect from you. You can do whatever with your hoes, but don't let them into this house. Do everything with them outside, but not in here. Okay? My Oh, sorry. Can we take it back? Who was here, please? Are you being serious right now? No, just tell me your name. Who, who was here? Trish or whatever stupid name she calls herself. She was nothing but rude. Oh, please tell me she's still upstairs. Did, did you check? Did you told her to leave? Oh, no, Trish. Now I have to call her. Rhea, so this is what you have to say. This. Honey, you see this whole marriage thing? It's new to me. And Trish is used to walking in here and walking out as she pleases. So you need to get used to me having a girlfriend. The same way she has to get used to me being a married man. I will do no such thing. I don't ever want to see her in this house again. Keep them out of the house! And what gives you the audacity to speak to me in that manner? Look, you're just a paid whore. Okay? You have to get used to sharing this space for your own peace of mind. Don't dare talk to me like that. Don't! I see. Look, you have to get used to sharing this space for your own peace of mind. I'm good. See ya. You're so disrespectful. Keep your hoes out of this house. <laughs> oh, please. Hey, Trish. I'm sorry, my house help chased you away. Will you come back? How much I've missed this. Our oh, girl time. I know, right? It was yeah. just like old time, no? Feels I'm glad good. you called. I mean, we're always here for you whenever you need us. Thank you, Andrea. And how is Alex? Oh, Alex is fine. Oh my, oh my god. Oh my god, I love where we are right now. Here we go. And I said you guys forgot. Tomorrow is his birthday. How could we possibly forget, <laughs> madam? You're singing. Literally. <laughs> Look, I want to serve him his birthday cake, right? You guys know what I mean, right? Mm. I can see Jazz has been teaching you some lessons. <laughs> oh, well. I know the exact place to take you to. Oh, that would be nice. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> well, sweetie, after she's taken you there and gotten you all decked out, because I know that's where she's taking you, please come and speak with the connoisseur of physical pleasure so I can <laughs> teach you how to... <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You didn't just do that. Yeah, so that you can give him this birthday that you have been singing about. You know, something nice. Oh, jazz, stop. <laughs> Babe, you yourself, when are you going on this honeymoon so you can, you know? Um, Royal has been very, very busy. He's been so busy. There's this contract he's been working on and it's taking most of his time. But whenever he's done with it, off we go. Hmm. Yeah. Rich men and work. <laughs> You know, yeah, whatever you guys decide to go for your honeymoon is immaterial. Happiness is everywhere. Mm -hmm. I don't think I want to go on honeymoon with um, Alex when that time comes. That's because our life is our honeymoon. And besides, going on honeymoon is like, you know, putting a timestamp on your happiness. I don't think I want that. Es excuse me, what, what are you saying? Eh? This girl? What do you mean by putting a timestamp on your happiness? Is what? So this Alex that we are, that we have been singing about since, if he says pack a bag and let's fly out to Tripoli, you're gonna say, oh no, I don't want. Let's stay here in this heat and be enjoying our life. That is a honeymoon. What do you mean? Just that's my choice. It's my choice. Why are you acting like you know me so well? I know you. I know you very well. Like the back of my hand, darling. I know. If, if he said pack a bag, you would be the first. In fact, you'd be running with, with like a chicken with that 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 was that had his head cut off. What are you talking about? Uh -uh. Just, Are you that's trying to? That's not true. That's not true. I mean, uh, uh, honey, honeymoon is not my.
<laughs> and where are you coming from? I went shopping with my friends. You heard me right. I said, where are you coming from? Is this the perfect time for a married woman to be walking into a house? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Where are you coming from? I... You've been out sleeping with men, right? And you're supposed to be a married woman? I don't want this thing to repeat itself again. Do you hear me? No, I, I, I went out to shop with my friends. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was trying to keep a straight face. When I was... <laughs> oh, were you scared? I was just playing. I was just playing. <laughs> It's fine, just have fun, okay? <laughs> Welcome back. Don't be like that, baby. You know I miss you, right? Actually, I and the little man miss you. <laughs> yes, for real. So how much do you want? Or what's this going to cost me? Your food is ready. Hold on. What's food? The one you asked that I prepared. Look, I'm not going to eat that poison that you made, okay? Hey, baby, sorry about that. No, it was no one, it was no one. <laughs> so the usual, right? What time? <laughs> well, I never said this was going to be easy. But you never told me it was going to be this difficult. Sir, you... Your son always has a way of stripping me off my dignity. He does it all the time. I'm tired. I'm, I'm tired. I, I can't continue with this, honestly. <laughs> you make me laugh. <laughs> Children of today, <laughs> very impatient, always wanting to move on. Hmm? I'm trying. Well, I saw you as a strong girl, very hardworking. Don't tell me you want to quit. Not now. Sorry. What you've gotten to? Oh. I can't. Hmm? I, I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm trying so hard. I, I'm trying so hard. But he, he loves to frustrate my efforts. He twats every good thing I try to do. Oh. Tired. You see, you have given Royal so much power. You have to stand up to him. He's, he's your husband. I've tried. I've, I've done it. I'm trying, but I'm tired. I, I can't continue. Okay. Tell me some of the things that he does. Okay, just not 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 too long ago. I took my time. Where I went to. It's so good to have you here, girl. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. So, where is Hobby? Oh, that one. He traveled. He had an emergency, so he had to travel out of town. Why didn't you go with him? He actually asked me to, but I told him my girls were coming, so I couldn't leave. Oh, ha. if it was Alex, Alex would bug me and bug me and bug me until I travel with him. Girl, you know, I don't know how I got so lucky with Alex. You know, I thought I was going to inherit my parents' um, bad marriage. Where is but Jazz, you are supposed to be here with her. Uh, oh, Jazz is on her way here. <laughs> okay. So, you know, Jazz always loved to run like. She's on the way here. I'm sure. Well, well, well. What do we have here? The girls' club? Um, hello, Royal. I thought you traveled. Hi, Andrea. And where did you get that impression from? I, um, I, I thought you went out of town. I ain't traveled out of town. Well, you talk wrong. I'm actually heading out this weekend with Trish. Hmm. I'll leave you girls to it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
Can you imagine? Like he didn't feel any form of remorse at all. Hmm? Like he was part of what he did. And my friend was just there looking at him like nothing serious happened. Imagine my friend's husband looked her in the face and told her that he's going out of town with another woman. Hmm? <sighs> Babe, I think you're just getting yourself worked up about this. Babe, what is... Babe! Babe, what, what did you just say? Wait, you're trying to... You're saying my behavior is uncalled for? No. Let me finish. Okay, okay. You're trying to tell me what he did was right? That it's okay to cheat no. on your wife? Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry if the way I sounded came out that way. I don't mean that. Matter of fact, the man must be stupid to sound that way. No honorable man will treat a woman he says he loves like that now. How about... Babe. Babe, please. I don't ever want you to cheat on me again. Baby, to kill me. I'm not my mother. Baby, I just want to know that I'm enough for you, please. Baby, I promise I will never cheat on you again. Matter of fact, you're more than enough for me. Okay? You're more than enough. Okay. Okay, thank you. It's okay. Oh, babe, then again, I'm still wondering at my friend's behavior. Why, why is Tony acting the way she's acting? Is it, is it about the money? Because I'm, I'm, I'm still yet to understand. Why is she taking all of... It's okay, it's okay. You God. know what? Just call me. Call me. Call me, babe. It's okay. You want some? Mm. There you go. Very timely. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. So, how are you doing? Uh, it, sir? I'm, I'm not doing well at all, sir. Your son has taken a toll on me. Oh, really? Yes, sir. Well, if your proposed strategy isn't working, what do you do? You re-strategize. That's it. It works. Is that it? <laughs> oh my goodness, I remember that day as clear as day. <laughs> that poor boy. Oh, of all his poetry. <laughs> you collected his plastic flower and wiped him across the head. He should never come near our house again. <laughs> oh my goodness, I actually feel sorry for that boy. Those were the days, darling. <laughs> Here you go. I want you to seduce my husband. Just, I can explain. Look, my marriage is a hoax. You know the story from the start, you know everything. I went into this with my eyes open. I knew exactly what I was going into. But something changed. I developed feelings for my husband. It was a game changer for me. His words and his actions hurts me now. I need him to start seeing me as a person, as a wife. I need to re-strategize, and that's where you come in. Just 
look, no woman has ever kept my husband's attention. None. <laughs> he enjoys the chase more than the conquest. So we need to build all his fantasies into one woman, you. Get my husband's attention. Seduce my husband. Make him fall madly in love with you. Then break his heart. Dump him. So he'll know how much it hurts. I believe he'll come running home to me. Honey, do you... Do you know what you're asking? You know, I forgive you. Just, I have thought this through. I have given it a thorough thought. Is look, is a risk I am willing to take. But I know you can do this for me, Jas. You can. <sighs> Just come on, it's gonna be like you doing your thing for fun. What? It's your thing. Es excuse me. This is crazy, okay? And no, the, the answer is no. Look, of all the crazy ideas you've ever come up with, this is by far the insanest. Let's just dead this conversation, please. Just, please. Just, it's just you doing your thing. It's always fun. It's, no! It's fun. It's... Honey, figure out a way to get this. To... I figured it out and this is the best I could come up with. I this? know you can do this, Jas. You can. It's just going to be you doing your thing, your usual... What? What did you just say? Babe, that was exactly my reaction when I heard it. I couldn't believe my ears. Was she drunk? Ah. Uh. Are you sure she was in a sound mind? Because I cannot reconcile this statement with the honey that I know. She looked me right in the eye and she told me that she'd been thinking about it for a long time. Why? What would be the reason why she would ask me to do something like that? Eh? Can she ask you to seduce her husband? Isn't that an indirect way of her saying that I'm the promiscuous one? Look, she might not have thought about it like that. You know, honey, now, she's always thinking about herself. <laughs> so what do you want to do now? Are you, are you considering it? Never! Babe, how could you even possibly ask me something like that? Look, I'm, I'm sorry. No, like, I didn't mean it in that way. Um, look, I'll... I'll call her tomorrow, so I'll call her later so we can talk about it tomorrow after work, okay? Jazz! <sighs> Honey, why me? Is it... Is it because I don't have a relationship? Do you think me loose? Jazz, far from that. Look, I'm asking because... I know I can trust you. Just you don't judge anybody. And you've always had my back. You're my friend. And I'm asking because I know you can do this for me. You can do this, Jess. I, I tried to tell you people what I was going through, but my pride and, and shame wouldn't let me. I thought I, I knew it all. Typical me. Honey, it's not too late to pull back. Divorce that guy and move on with your life. Andrea, have you ever known me to be someone that quits or loses anything? <laughs> no, I am not a quitter. I won't lose this one. I am going to see to the end of this project. I'm going to make sure I see to it, just like every project I've ever embarked on. I will. This time around, it's not only money that's involved. My emotions are involved too. I have fallen in love with my husband. Honey, that is not love. It's abuse talking. It even has a name. It's called Stockholm Syndrome. Yeah, you see the victims develop great bonds with their adopters. You think you love him because he treats you like shit. He does not want you. He does not have your time. You crave attention from him. That's what you're mistaken as love. Andrew, whatever. All I want is to make sure that Royal goes through the pain and hurt he put me through. 
I want him to feel the same way he made me feel. I want him to feel the pain, the hurts, the rejection, the neglect, the humiliation, all of it. I want him to feel it. And that's why I'm begging you, just please, just please do this for me. Please, I'm your girl. Do this for me. I know you can. I'm begging you. I don't know what else to do. Please. Honey, your current predicament started with a proposition. And here you are making another. Making another. Look, Jess, if you do this for me, I will owe you all my life. I don't know what that means. Me having to accept this. Just please. It means a lot. I don't know what else to do, but I know you can do this for your girl. Fine. It's me. Fine. I'll do it. Are you sure? Do you want me to say no? Because I'm not sure. No, 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 not at all. I'm just so excited you said yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Jazz. Look, I'm going to pay you for the... I don't even know what to say. I am so, so excited. Thank you so much. Just yes. Honey, yeah. you know what that means, right? It means that she might sleep with your husband. Andra! Wait, will you? How are you going to live with the fact that both of you are going to share the same mind? Can we, can we please not jump to the end of this shenanigan right here? Because, I mean, we don't even know if the guy, I mean, you don't even know if I'm his type. He might not even like me. I, I just, I just said yes. Please, don't, don't let me change my mind, please. Are you sure about this? Yeah, I, I am. Hope you're not changing your mind. Hey, well, uh, no, no, I already did. <laughs> He loves the chase more. He enjoys chasing, so you have to give him more reasons to chase you, Jazz. Okay? And he loves real deep conversations and flirty ones as well. So hmm. you give him a bit of this and a bit of that. You need to put him on his toes, you get me? When he thinks he's really known you, you give him another aspect of yourself. He keeps on wondering and it makes him more interesting. He wants to chase and get to know you better. And he, look, you need to dress really sexy. He loves it when you dress real good. But okay. you have to leave a bit to imagination. You don't put everything out there. Hey. But you still put something out there. Do you understand? He loves good restaurants. He loves good restaurants. He loves to have good conversations in good restaurants. But just... Are you paying attention? I'm full attention, baby. Mm. Look, Jess, I know I am asking a lot of you, but we need to make this work. Sure. Okay? You know how we do our things? Right. It has to work. This is me and you against Royal. Baby. Okay? Yeah? I need more wine, okay? Because listening to you talk, I need more wine. Otherwise, I'll be planning how to murder this guy instead of seduce him. Um, I'll be right back. It's fine. You can get more wine. <sighs> you act better when you Jeez. Have wine. Ooh. Hey, my name's Royal. Good for you. Well, a lot of people appreciate that name, so yes, it's good for me. Mm. So what name is good for you? Hmm. Well, a lot of people call me Jasmine, so I guess it's good for you. Hmm. I like that name. Hmm. The name suits you perfectly. You don't say. So can I buy you a drink? <laughs> As you can see, I already got that covered, don't you think? Yeah. Waiter. Can she have a double of whatever it is that she's drinking? And... I'll have martini on the rocks. Okay, that's hard. Mm. So okay. tell me, 
Jasmine, why are you so gorgeous? <laughs> Well, girl, I do believe the first meeting was quite a success. Yeah. So we met and I reluctantly gave him my phone number. And not less than an hour later, he was already calling me and going, oh my God, that he misses me and he wants to spend time with me. He wants to meet me and go on a date. It's tormenting him, blah, 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 yeah, 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 whatever. So I said, okay, you know what? I'll get back to you. Way to go, girl. <laughs> you see, I chose the right person for this. Okay. So, well, when next he calls you, mm -hmm. you'll accept to go on a date with him. Okay. But it has to be a restaurant of your own choosing. Hmm. All right. Let him know that you're in charge. You're in control. Let him do the chase. All right. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Interesting. Are you cheating on me with your secretary? Excuse me. Where is this coming from? I saw your secretary today during lunch break and she told me she was coming from the office and she, she was literally naked. I don't understand. Am I supposed to notice how Nora dresses from the office? Oh, this is exactly how cheating men talk. So you're trying to tell me you do not notice your secretary. Is she not a woman? Babe, calm down. I have no business with the way Nora dresses to the office. Besides, she's been dressing like that and you've not had any problem with that. Oh, uh, you don't understand. That's how she dresses to the office. I don't notice how Nora dresses to the office. And you've never had issues with the way she dresses. Why, why now? Oh, this is exactly how cheating men sound. Oh, really? You don't notice Nora? Is she not a woman? Babe. She's not a woman, so you... you you're saying you don't notice babe, her? Babe, please calm down. Babe, you're cheating on me with her. I'm not. I'm not cheating. I'm not. Babe, you know what? Eh? My eyes have been opened to all the atrocities that men commit. I'm trying to protect what is mine. You know what, babe? I don't want her in your office anymore. Replace her with a male secretary. Calm down, babe. You want me to replace her? I will replace her. You need to start trusting me. Fine, replace her. Besides, Please. is this why you called me from the office? Oh, you think this is not enough reason it's, to it's enough, it's enough call reason. you? It's enough, it's enough. Babe, see, I need you to trust me more. I need you to learn how to trust me. Fine, I've heard you, babe. I have. Just replace her tomorrow. Please. Okay, Fast. okay. Or Look, do you want to come and Babe, be... hold my... uh, It's okay, it's okay. What's funny? I... Yo, why you, why you... you think this is funny? I will replace her. Are we good? Yes, we're good. Matter of fact, you could get me the meal secretary. Do you think I'm... No, no. I don't want any problems anymore. I need you to trust me. I want you to trust me. Or do you want to be my secretary? Wait. You, it's a, it's a, no, no. You think this is funny? It's not. It's not funny. I promise you, I'll replace her. Fine. Replace her. Damn. Calm down. You need to trust me. I'll do anything to make you happy, okay? Just smile more. It's okay. Okay, no, I just don't pick up right now. Just let it ring, let it ring, ring. All right. Okay. Hello? Hey, sexy. 
Who is this? Come on, you know who I am. The guy that promises to make you happy. Who is this, please? I'm busy. Okay. It's royal. And you owe me an outing. I mean, I've been calling your phone back to back and it's been ringing and you hardly pick up. Well, actually, I've been quite swamped with work. How are you doing? Well, I'm fine. But I'll be better if you decide to go out to dinner with me. Hmm. Well, I've already had dinner, so thanks, but no thanks. <laughs> mm, swift. So swift. <laughs> what? Hey, look, don't hang up. I'm I'm sorry I didn't start how I was supposed to. Okay, here we go. Please, can you just go out to dinner with me? My life depends on it. <laughs> wow, really? That doesn't sound a little cheesy to you? <laughs> okay, you know what? Fine. Let's start with lunch, okay? I'll call you tomorrow, yeah? Uh, I know you did this the last time and you're gonna ghost me again, right? Listen, I will call you tomorrow, okay? Bye now. <laughs> Hello, Bay. <laughs> yes. So we've made arrangements. We're going to be meeting tomorrow for lunch. So it's a go. That's right. Okay. Booyah! Like, I don't know, chair or whatever. Hey! Hey. Okay, what are you doing here? I'm here to surprise you, take you out for dinner. Okay, but I just had lunch with you yesterday. I know. And I couldn't stop thinking about you. Okay. Yeah. I couldn't concentrate on the office, so... I decided to take my chance and see if you'll be home so I can take you out to dinner. Okay. <laughs> Here. This is for you. Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> thank you, but you shouldn't have. You know, I saw it and I immediately thought about you. And I thought, hey, you should mm. have it. Wow. That's pretty. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm, I'm sorry. I just, I can't go out to dinner this evening because I have really important stuff to do. Okay, that's fine. You know we can actually do both, right? <laughs> and I can still take you out to dinner. I know, but not tonight, okay? Um... I mean, maybe some other time, but I will definitely call you later, if that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go. Okay. Good night now. Good night. Okay, so I'm not walking into the plant. <laughs>
You're welcome. Are you hungry? I could dish you food. No, it's fine. I'm good. Okay. All right. Thanks. Andra, I'm sorry your plans for tomorrow won't work. I have a lunch date with my husband tomorrow. He's been feeling so neglected lately, so I decided to pamper him and take him out. So I'll be taking him out to a lunch date tomorrow and back to the bedroom. So not even that steamy can of yours won't work. Nothing will take me away from my husband. I'm gonna give him all the attention. You both can go together. I'll find a way and make it up. All right, talk to you later, bye. Jazz, you make everything so easy. Mm. I think I'm falling for you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> please, please oh, don't fall because like this girl isn't ready for anything serious right now. I'm not going to catch you. <laughs> really? Okay, look, look, tell me. Can you just tell me? Why is it that anytime I get personal and tell you about my feelings, you always want to joke about it? <laughs> or you don't think a guy like me can fall for a girl like you? Okay, okay, okay. Come on, Royal, Royal, you're cute and everything, but you're literally badgering me right now, okay? You know what? <laughs> Excuse me, I'm gonna go to the restroom and go powder my nose or something. I'll be right back, okay? Okay. <laughs> Watch me leave. <laughs> I've never missed a view. <sighs> Royal, I was wondering if that was you. Longest time. You no longer return my calls. I'm sorry, do I know you? Wait. Wait. Like, seriously? What's the meaning of that? Need I need to remind you how you scream sounds like whenever you're about to come? Okay, okay, okay. That's a bit too much information for a place like this. You know what? I'll pay for whatever you guys are having tonight, okay? And we'll talk later. Is that fine? Okay. <laughs> I see you had visitors. Who were those girls? Uh, just my fans. <laughs> oh my goodness, you have fans. Huh? Well, yeah. <laughs> Apparently. Okay. Hmm. I see you. <laughs> so where were we? Hey. Good morning. Look, I'm, I'm sorry. I, no, no, no. It's, I, it's, it's, it's okay. I already made breakfast. It's on the dining. I have an early start for work today. So. Okay. Hey, honey. I got you something. Really? Yeah. This for you. Wow. It's beautiful. Isn't it? Show me to help you put it on? Please.
home. Thank you. It's really beautiful. Thank you, Real. You're welcome. I have to. Bye. Honey. You smell so good. Why? Thank you. Have a great day at work today. Being with several girls, but this feels so different. I don't even know what to do. Look, we need to sit back and dissect this feeling of yours. Because this is very unlike you. Okay. Why is it that when I'm out with my girl, I come back home and I see honey? And I start feeling guilty. Me. Guilty. When am I ever like that? <laughs> Look, relax. You're a married man now. It's no longer a case of grab and smash. Something must have really changed. Bro, I, I really cannot explain it. I'm just gonna have to see how things go. <laughs> you know what? This is a very serious case right now. Because even the doctor does not have a diagnosis for, for what is wrong with you now. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even diagnose it. What could it be? Maybe we'll, we'll sort some other professional help. If you think so. I can't believe I'm here checking my phone every beep because I'm expecting a call from Royal. What's happening to you, Jasmine? This isn't part of the plan at all. Wake up, Jazz. I think you're falling for this guy. This is a very dangerous game you're playing. You're gonna get burned. No. No, 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 no. This cannot continue. Yo, yeah, we, we have to, we have to meet. It's urgent. Okay. Honey, I can't do this again, okay? I'm just, it's getting, it's getting too much for me, okay? It's just, it's taking it all on me, I can't. Yes, you can, Jess. Yes, you can. You can't stop. It's working, he sees me now. He talks with me, he laughs with me. You can't, Jazz. I still need you to do this. Yo, you're not listening to me. You can't... You don't understand what's going on with me. It's getting emotional for me as well. I just, I can't do this anymore. No, 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 no. You can't stop now. It's... No, you can't. I still need you to do this for me. I'm sorry. It, it's like you're putting your whole life on the pause to do this for me. I still need you to do this. You can't stop. Please. Difficult. Just you can't. I wish I'm as strong as you. My insecurity is putting a strain on my relationship. I love Alex, but you know, your situation has opened my eyes to a lot of things. I see things differently now. I don't know how you do it, honey, but... Uh, you, for the love of God, Andrea, this moment is not your moment, okay? This is not about you. Can you please stop making things about you when it when and besides, Alex is a far cry from Royal, okay? So stop making up scenarios that don't even exist. For goodness sake! I need a drink! Sometimes I feel like going insane. You're 
insane already. You are. You were rough around the edges, not ready for commitment. You were all about the chasing, not ready for something real. It was kind of hard to say no. I didn't care how it made me feel. I didn't think about tomorrow. Boy, I just had to pay my bills. Totally unprepared. I'm the best version of myself because of you. Mm -hmm. You are my happy place, Jazz. Mm -hmm. And with you, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid to be me when I'm with you. Thank you for it. What is it? Is everything okay? Yeah, it's just work. Look, I have some unfinished business at the office and I'll have to leave. Really? Yeah. Wait, no. Look, I'm sorry. It just came up now and I really have to leave. Don't go. I thought we were spending some quality time. <sighs> yeah, I know. All right, babe. You. See you later, okay? Yeah. You look really good. Thank you. Um, I was working late and I couldn't concentrate anymore because I was thinking about you. And I knew you'd be home at this time, so I decided to get you something nice. Really? Yeah. You did? Mm hmm Go ahead. Oh my god. Uh, Royal, this this is beautiful. What you you got this for me? Yes, I did. Thank you so much. I I love it. It's it's beautiful. I'm glad you like it. Yes, I do. I I really like it. Can I kiss my husband just to show how how thankful I am? I uh, yeah, sure. I can. Yeah. I 
swear I loved it. Oh, Look this at it. is lovely. It has good taste. Thanks, Sandra. Thank you. And I'm not talking just about only about the gift right now. I kissed my husband. Yes. <laughs> yes, girls. I you, kissed him. You kissed him? Yes, I did. Like oh, it's be we barely kissed. I can't remember the last time we did that. I kissed him. I am still in shock. <laughs> wow. Right. So, wait, hold on. Like, and then he kissed you like on the lips, lips? Yes, girl. He kissed me. Okay. I actually asked for it. He obliged. He didn't say no. And I think he enjoyed it. I could feel it. Girl. Oh my God. I'm so happy for you, girl. <laughs> Thank God this insane business is working. Thanks to Jazz here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it doesn't end there. Guess what? I cooked. Cooked? <laughs> I swear down. Your girl cooked. I took my beautiful self into the kitchen. I dipped my hands in water, girls. I cooked. Royal, what are you doing to me? Like, I am cooking. Wow. I had no idea this part of me existed. Girl, like, imagine mm. me. I cooked. Mm -hmm. I don't tell wife material. In fact, I am doing wifely duties right now. Your girl is now a wife. <laughs> wow. Yes, I cooked. You're catching some seriously intense feelings, huh? Look. I never knew this side of me existed. I was all stuck up, walk, walk, walk. But now look at me, I cooked. Like I went into the kitchen and cooked. I can't believe this is me doing this. Like this guy has made me see life differently. Like I, I'm loving this new me. I love this new me, girls. Wow. Um, so um, ladies, right? I'm learning a lot from this. So if a man cheats on you, his guilt pushes him to buy you a beautiful gift. Mm. So, um, what are the other ways to know when a man is cheating on you? Ah, girl, come on. It's so easy to know. I mean, <laughs> yeah, men are not very organized when it comes to these kind of things, you know? Lipstick stains on his collar, female perfumes clinging to his clothes, him buying you special gifts, which, by the way, he could have been buying it for his mistress, but, you know, maybe the mistress was upset about something and he decided to bring it home to you. I don't know. Whatever. And then, of course, the giveaway. Bringing new positions and complicated styles in bed. Talking dirty when he didn't used to talk dirty. Mm -hmm. Letting you kiss him so you can assuage the guilt that, you know, he's giving it to other people while he's not letting you get some. Yeah, it's... If you pay attention, you will catch on to it. Hey, have you had dinner? I'm just setting the table. Okay, so why don't we forget this for tonight and go out and have dinner? What do you say? Really? Yeah. Okay. I'll go change into something else. Okay. Definitely drinking this. <laughs> he took me out to dinner too. So we had dinner. It was re it was a good time. Like I'm thinking about it. I'm still blushing. And what happened when we got home that night after dinner? It's another story for another day. Girl, the love making was on another level. I couldn't believe this was Royal giving it to me just the way I've always, always wanted. I'm in love with your husband. You are what? You heard me the first time, honey. Jess, you can't be in love with my husband. You know what? I have gotten exactly what I want out of this relationship. So this has to stop right now. So dump him now. Well, I, I can't just do that. He'll, he'll want to know why. 
And why would he want a reason for you to dump him? Why? How about telling him he's married? You have a wife. You have a family. How about that? You want more? I just... I can't just do it like that, okay? I, I, I need to take time and use wisdom to figure out how to go about it before I undermine whatever it is that... Time and wisdom are you talking about? Huh? I asked you to seduce my husband and now I am asking you to dump him right now. It's not that easy, okay? It's just not that easy. Make it easy. Call him. Yeah. Call him. Tell him you don't want to anymore. Dump him. Call him. Only, dump him. Only I can't, okay? I just can't. It's not that easy. Emotions got involved, all right? Look, I have a headache, okay? Just lock up when you leave. Dad, I seem to have developed strong feelings for honey. And I don't know how to handle it. Every time I'm done with work, I see myself rushing back home so that I can see her face and make her happy. In as much as she hides her feelings, I also know that it makes her happy to see me. It's all just so confusing. Thanks, Dad. Welcome to manhood. <laughs> You're now truly a man. A man. A husband, precisely. <laughs> you see, my son, there comes a time in a man's life when all he cares about is peaceful and happy home. You understand? And I think you're ready for what comes next. And that is to settle down and get to work to get me a grandson. <laughs> Dad, come on. We've not even counted one and you're counting 100. Ah, that's it. <laughs> Your father knows best. Mm. But come to think of it, Dad. What am I looking for out there? I want to have something better inside here with me. I really need to work on my problem. And I need to work on my marriage. That's it. That's it. Goodness sake, you're only in this marriage because of the money. Fine, what if I tell his father to give you half of the money they promised you? Would you give him a divorce? What are you talking about? What divorce? <sighs> Honey, I am in love with him, okay? I love him! And I'm tired of pretending about it or lying! I don't know when it happened, okay, but I fell in love with him. And I've been talking to him, spending time with him, I've gotten so used to him, I'm suffering! Like, and by the way, I told you that this was going to happen, I told you that we should stop this, but you insisted. You insisted. And, and I mean, what, what do you think that feelings are things you can just switch on and off like a light switch? How dare you play God with our emotions, toying with, 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 with my feelings all, 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 all over the whole place and telling me I shouldn't fall in love with him. Well, he's amazing, okay? And, 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 and he had my time. And I, I failed. I got hooked. I forgot that I was playing make-believe. Just, you don't fall in love. Why now? Because it's mine? Oh my god, will you guys stop this nonsense? Can you, just, can you guys stop already? Is this how low we've gotten? <sighs> Jas. Jas, you promised. You promised. He's mine now. You have to let him go. It wasn't about the money. It's not been about the money for a while now. Things changed. I fell in love with him. He's mine now, you have to let him go. Please. No. No, you don't love him. How, how could you possibly love him? Huh? Okay, what's his favorite color? 
What's his favorite food? Why does he like to sleep on the left side of the bed? What does he like to do for fun? What, what, like, how can you possibly love something that you don't know? Why, why are you suddenly in love with him? Is it because I said I'm not gonna let him go? His favorite color is gray. And he sleeps on the left side of the bed because he used to share the bed with his mother. Yes. I love him. Like you said, he is amazing. He is so easy to love. And I have spent so much time with him not to love him. Do you know the sleepless nights I had every time he comes here to spend time with you? I kept my sanities, counting the days and the nights waiting for him to become mine. And now you're here telling me this? Jazz, I understand how you feel. I'm sorry you feel this way. But you have to give him up. He's not yours to keep. I know that. Okay, I do. But this is just, it's just too much, okay? And you know what? I never slept with your husband. I didn't even so much as let that man kiss me on the lips. And not for lack of pressure from you or from him. Because believe what, believe whatever you want to believe, but our friendship trumps everything else. And you're right. He is easy to love. I cannot just turn off my emotions at the snap of a finger. So since you love him so much, honey, do the right thing. And tell that man what you did to make him love you. <laughs> Please sit. We need to talk. I want to tell you, I want to tell you a story of a girl who got married to a man who wasn't ready to get married. Once upon a time, a man offered a girl he barely knew but he believed in what she was capable of doing. The offer was quite simple. Marry my son and I'll make you a super rich woman. He made an offer of 200 million naira to stay married to his son for a minimum of five years. The offer was too good to let go. And to make it even better, the sun was easy on the eyes. She believed it was something she could handle. Without knowing that her heart would let her down. But it's what it is. She fell in love with the one person that she was supposed to guard her heart against. And this gave him the power to hurt her with his actions and his words. It was too much for her to bear. She had to go seek help from her friend. 
her friend was to seduce her husband, make him fall in love with her, and she would hurt him. So he could feel half of what he made her go through. Somehow the plan worked. But there were prizes to be paid. Jasmine is my friend. I planted her in your path. I planned everything. I did all I did because of how I felt about you. Don't hate me for that. I don't know if I've lost you again, Royal. Oh, please don't hate me. Decided to do the right thing. To tell you the truth. Even if it kills me or hurts me, I don't care. I just want to do the right thing. I want to say the truth. I have fallen in love with you. I love you, Royal. I love you with everything in me. Andra, Jasmine and I are flatmates and best friends. I don't even know if, if I can call us that anymore because I've ruined our friendship. But please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I did all I did because of how I felt for you. I did all I did because of love. I don't want the money anymore. I, 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 I want you. Please don't hate me for what I did. This is unbelievable. <sighs> the thought that I was responsible for all this that went down and how I pushed her to so much madness is ripping me up inside. Okay, now tell me, what are you going to do now? What do you intend to do at this point? I can't seem to forgive myself. I should be angry and confused, but my thoughts are very clear. All I want to do is go home to my wife and hug her. That's all I want right now. Uh, well. To be honest, I'll, I'll suggest you just go back home and talk to her. I mean, the both of you will be fine. You both will be fine. Alright, I need to go. Ah, hey, 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 hold on, hold on. Take it easy. No, sit, sit down. I'm gonna drive you. How much is this? She raised me. She was everything to me. She would make me my best meals, take me to school, and even help me with my homework. And then I woke up one day
to find out that she's dead. Growing up, I was very wealthy. I had everything. I had friends who only would come to me because of their personal gains. And what they stood to get from me. So to shield myself, I became a person who never wanted anything. I would only get close to people. So when I start getting attached to them, I would leave. Because how can you explain to me The person I love the most in the world just died and left me. And the only explanation that they could tell me was that she has gone to heaven. Look. I was so little and so young. And even at that age, I felt so much pain. So this, this that you see, is the story of a little boy who lost everything. But now, found you. Oh, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. <laughs> Honey, there's nothing to forgive. If anything, I should be asking for your forgiveness. All I want to do right now is to take my wife upstairs and love her unconditionally. Love is a living thing. <laughs> you need to put in more work to keep it alive. <laughs> Look at you. So lovely. Now that both of you have discovered each other, herein lies the main work. Hmm? Young man, it's time for you to always be around your wife, adore your wife, love her. Hmm? No more running around. No, it doesn't work like that. Your wife is just enough for you. You understand? Dad. She's more than enough for me. I want to say I'm sorry for everything I must have put you through. Huh? I know that raising a son like me must have really been tough on you. And I'm sorry for that. Hmm. I know that raising me wouldn't have been easy. 
but I'm glad that all that's behind us now. Yeah. I'm ready to become a better man. For myself and for her. And I want to say thank you for always being there for me. Thank you for the encouraging words. All the time I thought I couldn't pull you, and I come to you, you always had something encouraging to tell me. You make sure I pull it through it all. Thank you, sir. You're most welcome. I told you, you can do it. And you did it. You didn't disappoint. Hmm? Um, honey, I would like to use this opportunity to thank you for bringing my son home. I will never forget that anyway. <laughs> I'll never. Um, I have already made all payments and the preparations that you may need towards your mother's surgery. Yes. I've done that. <laughs> no worries, no worries. <laughs> no worries. You're most welcome. No worries. God bless you. <laughs> and um, the problem that made you accept the proposition in the first place still exists, even though you said you don't want the money. So let it be in your mind. It still exists. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate this from the depth of my heart. Thank you so much. No worries. <laughs> Cheers to both of you. Cheers, Dad. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I hope you're hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Le Fatter. That looks really nice. Yeah. I know you can't wait Oh. Oh. Guys. <laughs> so guys, um, before we start this dinner, I just want to say, um, Alex and I talked this over and um, I want to say I'm so sorry. I failed you both as a friend. I should have done more to make sure this never happened in the first place. But I believe we've all learned our lessons and, you know, doing the right thing never goes out of fashion. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you so much. Um, and I would also want to apologize again, especially to you, Jazz. I am so sorry. I I never considered your feelings or emotions because of my own selfish interest. I was so selfish, and I'm sorry. I, I messed up our friendship. Will you ever forgive me? Forgive me, please. <laughs> Girl, listen, we've been through thick and thin together. I love you like a sister, okay? But there is absolutely nothing to forgive. And besides, <laughs> I played my own part in this, didn't I? So look, mm -hmm. it's all good now. You're happy and I can see that. So it's all water under the bridge, okay? I love you too. Okay, so now that we're all apologizing. <laughs> hey. Jazz. Hey, um, I'm really sorry for all I put you through. It was not my intention at all. Um, apology accepted and look I also have to apologize for the part that I played in all of this but I am so grateful that both of you look so happy together and that's that just gives me joy because she deserves all the happiness in the world okay 
Yeah. So we eat? So, so yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Absolutely. Cheers. 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 There's something I've been wanting to get off my chest for a while now. You know, we never really got a good start at marriage. And decisions and choices were made for us. But now, I want you as my life's partner. Honey. For better, for worse. Will you make me the happiest man in this whole wild world? And be my wife. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm not yet done. Hold on. There was something I didn't do the first time. What are you doing? Give me a chance to rewrite history, okay? Uh. Mm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you know. I should start thinking less of myself and more of you. Because you mean the world to me. And, honey, you make me the happiest man alive and be my wife. You are my happy place. You are my solace, and I love you with every vein in me. So, yes, I'll marry you. <laughs> oh my God. That is so I love you. I love you too, too.
put on now. Say it. Action. There are many happy monogama. Monogamous. <laughs> Money? I'm, I'm sorry, sir. I, I, I can't do that. Not at all. I'm, I'm not. 200 naira is what I'm offering you. <laughs> 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 oh, sorry, 200 million. <laughs> <laughs>